when did you start your first business? I started my first business when I was in high school. Uh, with just a couple of my buddies and mowing lawns for people in, in our neighborhood. I'll share a story how I started the business. It would be quite beneficial. Uh, at the time, I because when I was going through high school, I was getting beat up quite often by, by all the other kids. Because I was one of only three Chinese in my school. So, and I was kind of skinny and they beat me up. So, you know, people talk about school bullying and stuff, but it's true. Because I experienced it, but it's true. Uh, so then I learned martial art and karate and things like that, trying to protect myself. The funny thing is, nobody tried to beat me up after I learned martial art. <laughs> which is it's not, right? I thought I could practice, but nothing to practice on. <laughs> I said, come on, let's go! Nah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I was getting beat up, so then, and I was very much into, still into, but at the time I was kind of a fitness nuts, right? Fitness fanatic. I was running like every day, and one day I was running in my jogging in my neighborhood, and I saw, saw an older gentleman, and he was just mowing the lawn. He, was just like, he must be in his 60s, maybe even 70s. Slow like that, very slow. And I was jogging, and like young guys, like, hey, you know, maybe I just wanted to help him out because I could see the machine maybe is too heavy. So I said, hey, you know, sir, is, is there anything I can help you with? You want me to help you mow it along? I thought it would just be a good exercise, like the bicep. <laughs> <laughs> so I would do that. And he said, oh, you know, young man, sure, thank you very much. And, and, and I mow his lawn, and he said, oh, thank you very much. And I oh, no problem, you know, I live just right there. He said, you know, and then pour out 20 bucks. They gave me $20, and I thought, wow, this is interesting. I never thought I would make money doing this, but damn, it's 20 bucks. And for a high school kid, it's, it's, it's 20 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe there are, I thought to myself, maybe there are other people who would need the same service. Now, hey, there's one problem, though. Uh, I couldn't afford to buy a lawnmower. Because those machines are expensive. I mean, they could be, at the time, like a thousand bucks, something like that, on a machine, like with the gasoline and everything. So I came with the idea, I said, you know, I said, sir, you know, I live around here. You, and the machine was brand new. I said, you know, obviously this is too heavy for me. I said, would it be possible, like, would you consider if I help you mow your lawn you, every week, no charge, but you mow me your machine? And he said, well, young man, I said, young man, eh, what the hell? I'm not using it, it's too heavy for me. Ah, okay, sure. So then I got my lawnmower with no, my, none of my own money. Uh, and then I said, okay, now I've got a lawnmower. I said, I'll take care of it. I'll then you repair, I'll add gas, anything, you, no worry. I'll take good care of it. So I got a machine, and then I need some customers, I need some clients. So at the time, my aunt, uh, my mom's friend, a very good friend, uh, she owns a printing shop. She would like print business card and fly and things like that. Then I approached my aunt and said, you know, aunt, you know, you do this printing business, you want to try to get business. I said, how oh, about, well, you know, why don't you print some flyers? And I will help you run around the neighborhood and I'll slip in the door and help you promote. She said, oh, that would be very nice. Yeah, sure. You know, why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't we do some of that? And you know, a fly has two sides, right? I said, you, one side you print your <laughs> printing business, the other side I print my lawn <laughs> That's free for me, right? That's free marketing. And she thought, oh, that's, yeah, why not? It's a okay, so win win. And so I did that and I, I put out a five, ten dollar fly. I was running around there, but was, you know, giving these flyers and things like that. And I have a phone number. I remember I was so excited. After I distributed all these flies a day, but I was running home, waiting for my, next to my telephone. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to make like hundreds of dollars like overnight, right? <laughs> waiting for the phone to ring. It didn't ring. It did not ring. One hour, one day, two days gone by, and I looked at the fly deck, print a wrong phone number, no way! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody called. And that's when the first lesson I kind of learned in business, like marketing, like in, in business, no revenue means you don't have a business. And without customers, you don't have revenue. So I might have a great machine, I might be a hard worker, I might have skill, but without customers, I don't have a business. So then, from that point on, I thought, okay, what do I need to do? to get my first kind of customer. It's nice that I have the older gentleman, but I'm not getting paid, I just get the machine. Right? So I thought of the idea, huh, but what did I do to get my first client? I got my first client by giving value up front. 
Because think about it, back then I never thought I would get the 20 bucks. I thought I would just help out and, and exercise, and, but they, they pay me money. And that affected me deeply in the future, how I conduct business. It's all about adding value up front first. Not being a taker, but being a giver first. Uh, so from that point on, I said, okay, that's how I got my first client. So I went to, the, and it's Zurich at the time, uh, the neighborhood with the nicest home, with the tallest grass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tall, it was like up to here. And I would mow the entire lawn. I mowed the entire lawn. Uh, it was, I, I took uh, the flowers, I, everything. I took all the weeds, I mean, it was spectacular before and after. After I'm done, I sit at the front, the front uh, the st uh, steps, just waiting for the owner to come back. <laughs> Lady drove by, and she actually drove by, because she didn't recognize her house. <laughs> I drove by, and then she came back, and then she packed, and then she went up to say, oh, Yao Ming, what are you doing in front of my house? I said, you know what? I said, I said, ma'am, I, I saw you long. It seems like it, the, the, the grass is quite long and tall, and I just mowed it for you, and I'm actually, I run a little, I'm a young guy, I'm running a little business here. Here's my flyer. If you need somebody else, like, let me know. He's like, oh, this is perfect, you know? My, my husband travels all the time, he's not home. The damn machine is too heavy, I don't want to use it. This is perfect. He pulled up a hundred, she pulled a hundred dollars. She gave me a hundred dollars. And I thought, this is, this is awesome. Like, I'm a first client, right? Um, and then from there, I knocked on uh, her neighbor, right? And I said, hey, you know what? Um, the neighbor, I forgot her name. This is something I forgot her name. That uh, I'm, coming, I'm coming back uh, next week to mow her lawn. Since I'm in the neighborhood, if you, know, if you need your lawn mow, how you do? Right? In a very short period of time, kind of, you know, I dominate that little neighborhood. Right? <laughs> but that's the first lesson. Now, the lesson is this. Two things. Number one is in business, adding value up front, not asking anything in return. And you might not get anything in return, mm -hmm. but adding value up front to other people's lives. And that's why I do a lot of things, like a bunch of YouTube and, and speeches for free, because you don't know who you're going to touch. You don't know who you're going to touch. I have a partner right there, Matt, uh, who is working away. Uh, Matt owns Internet Mastermind. It's one of the largest internet mastermind groups in the world with over 5,000 members. I met Matt almost five years ago when I was doing a speech and I gave him a copy of my book. That's how I made that connection. And from there, now today, we have business partners five years later. So you don't know who you're gonna touch. Adding value up front. Second thing is, think of um, the first gentleman, the older gentleman, how I structured the deal. Mm -hmm. It's a win for him, it's a win for me, it's a win for my client. So it's a win-win kind of situation. Same thing with everything else, with my ad, the flyer. Well, it's a win for her, it's a win for me as well. So in business, you want to strive to kind of be win-win all the time. There are some deals where you win-lose where you make money and other parties don't. Don't do those type of deals because they will not do deals with you again. That's the if you want to kind of do long-term business and build a long-term business. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.